one more that just happened a few moments ago. Let's play the clip. Whether you're a soldier, you're an airman, a marine, sailor, or a coastie, he keeps us in his heart in the decisions that he makes. We saw this through his first term in the presidency when he not only didn't start any new wars, he took action to de-escalate and prevent wars. He exercised the courage that we expect from our commander-in-chief in exhausting all measures of diplomacy, having the courage to meet with adversaries, dictators, allies, and partners alike in the pursuit of peace, seeing war as a last resort. The truth is, as we head towards our decision as a country in November, the same cannot be said about Kamala Harris. In fact, the opposite is true, and we're living through this reality today as this administration has us facing multiple wars on multiple fronts in regions around the world and closer to the brink of nuclear war than we ever have been before. This is one of the main reasons why I'm committed to doing all that I can to send President Trump back to the White House where he can once again serve us as our commander in chief. Incredible. Tulsi Gabbard saying the truth. That's the former chair of the DNC coming up and saying, and by the way, Tulsi is someone that I've had a lot of respect for for a long time, long time, all the way back when she was first elected 2012, 2013, 2014, because she called it like it is. She fought ISIS. And there she is saying, we must prevent World War III. 